Together, we form the end of our government organizations, business owners, and workers who will always come to represent this school's refined teachers and administrators. I would like to thank Dr. Larrero, Ms. Owens, Mr. Payne, Ms. Parisi, and Ms. Hanline for making my final year blast. These individuals have taught me the values of determination and given me an infinite amount of grace to get me to this point. Having these teachers give their all every single day for the sake of their students has indeed been an inspiration as they have set the bar high for great teachers. Lastly, I want to thank my family for helping me get to this point. They have always given me the support I needed throughout my journey and I am forever thankful. Once more, I am extremely proud and thankful to be a part of this central class. Go dogs!
can finally move on to the next stage in life. I want to congratulate everyone on this enormous accomplishment. I would also like to thank everyone who has supported the Student Council and myself throughout this incredible year. I am also thankful for everyone in my life that has brought me here today, beginning with my coaches, Coach Walker for track, Coach Leak for lacrosse, and Coach Dobbs for cross country. They have been overwhelmingly supportive in my athletic career as, take, as well as taking part in my academic career. I am forever grateful for everyone, everything that they've done for me. And of course, I can't forget my mom and dad who have given me infinitely many experiences in order to give me great opportunities for success. Again, I am so proud of all that we have done as a class and I can't wait to see what all we accomplish in the next four years. And no matter how far you go in life, always remember your origins here for Science Central and that every single one of you will forever be a Bulldog. Hello class of 2022. My name is TJ Stevens and I want to congratulate all of you on surviving high school. On behalf of Team Water, thank you all for believing in us to be your senior class officers as we would not be here without your vote. Next, I want to thank those at the Sea House who helped me get to this point. To my teachers, thank you for pushing me to succeed and grow as a student. And thank you to the school's administration for working hand in hand with us to make this year special. More specifically, I want to thank Coach Lilly and eSports the impact that you all have had on my life is unmeasurable and I would not be the person I am today without your support. Finally, I want to thank my family for always supporting me and I love you guys more than I can explain. As we transition to this next phase, I wish everyone luck whether your future is college, military, trade school, or the workforce. Despite having an eventful high school career, we've made it through these four years of hard work and are finally ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives. I've seen great potential in our class and I know that all of us will achieve the dreams we've been striving for. I would like to thank all my teachers who have given me the ability not only to grow as a student, but grow as a person as well. Without the experience that the school has provided me with, I wouldn't be on the path I am on today. Next, I want to thank my family for always being supportive and helping me throughout high school. You have helped me during the most difficult times of high school and I'm glad you're always there for me. Thank you, Foresight Central, for providing me with an amazing four years, and I hope everyone continues to flourish after graduation. Hi, Class of 2022. I'm Will Andrews, and I have the privilege of being your senior class treasurer this year, which, let me tell you, was an honor. Congratulations, we made it. It was a rough couple of years, but we made it through. I've been able to see you guys achieve beyond everything that we all thought possible, and that's been pretty amazing to see. I'd like to give a special shout out to the marching band, which was full of people always accepting the open arms, who would be hard pressed to find the marching band As well as the cross country and track team, despite hours of painful days for graduates, they always want to put a Thank you to Coach Dobbs for giving me a few things of love on the school, and for always encouraging me to be on the track and in the classroom. Again, thank you, seniors. you this year. You have completed the strenuous journey of your education. Furthermore, for some of you, there will be four more. For some, there will be trades, and others have chosen to serve our country. And for those who jump straight in the workforce, I wish you all good luck. I am unbelievably proud of you for taking steps to create a future where you can carve your path into the workforce. Together, we form the end of our government organizations, business owners, and workers who will always come to represent this school's refined teachers and administrators. I would like to thank Dr. Larrero, Ms. Owens, Mr. Payne, Ms. Parisi, and Ms. Hanline for making my final year a blast. These individuals have taught me the values of determination and given me an infinite amount of grace to get me to this point. Having these teachers give their all every single day for the sake of their students has indeed been an inspiration as they have set the bar high for great teachers. Lastly, I want to thank my family for helping me get to this point. They have always given me the support I needed throughout my journey and I am forever thankful. Once more, I'm extremely proud and thankful to be a part of this central class. Go dogs!
Good morning. My name is Ryan Meyer. I was the 2022 senior class uh, social media chairman. Um, at this time, I would like to ask all of you to rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps and join me face the back of the arena where the flag is and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you could all please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our senior class president, Mr. Ethan Fortgang. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 66th Precise Central High School Commencement Ceremony. My name is Ethan Forking, and I am the senior class president of the graduating class of 2022. I would like to start off today by going over a few memories and a few thoughts regarding our senior year and our time spent here at Central. First of all, this has been our most normal year of school in years, and we are so grateful for our superintendent... Oh. We are so grateful for our superintendent, Dr. Bearden, and the Board of Education for their leadership and their efforts in order to make this possible. So again, please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Additionally, I would like to share a few thoughts of my own. Proud, defined as a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction as a result of one's own achievements. Precise Central and its faculty have brought us here today, teaching us what it means to be proud. They have shown us what it means to be the best, to strive for excellency, and to pursue the top of the ranks. From this day forward, we will be thrown into a new state of independence. There's going to be new environments, new people, and most importantly, new expectations. The twist on all of this is that there's no outside force that will set these expectations for us. We must set them for ourselves. Whether it be rising to the top of the class, engaging with a new group of people, or finding something new about yourself, Whatever it is, do not set your expectations low. That is not what we have spent the last four years learning. Rather than get by by doing the bare minimum, set yourself up to be the best self you could possibly be. Become a leader. Become a role model. Become the next big inventor. Within the next eight to 12 months, I want each and every one of you to look back at all that you have done and all that you have accomplished and to be able to say that you are proud. Then, take it a step further each year, carrying that central pride with you as you continue down the path that has been laid before you. Remember the lessons you've been taught, remember the feats you've overcome to be where you are today, and remember that you are a Bulldog. Thank you. Three. 
At this time, allow me to introduce our senior class treasurer, Will Andrews. Good afternoon. We are joined this morning by several very important guests. I would like to ask each of you to please rise when I call your name. We are honored to have with us our Board of Education members. Our board chairperson is from District 1, Mr. Wesley McCall. The District 2 representative is Ms. Kristen Morrissey. From District 3, Mr. Tom Cleveland. From District 4, Ms. Darla Light. And representing District 5 is Ms. Lindsay Adams. We are also delighted to have with us our central office leaders here. First off, our deputy superintendent and our former principal, a darn good central dog, the beloved Mr. Mitch Young. Additionally, we are fortunate to have with us someone who has long been a part of the FCHS family, Associate Superintendent, Miss Lee Ann Rice. Also among you this morning are members of our law enforcement community. We are more grateful than ever before for this service. Included in this group are Mr. Todd Shirley, Mr. Steve Hahn, and the outstanding team in the Forsyth County School Safety Office. We are also blessed to have our very own school resource officers from the Forsyth County Sheriff's Department, Ms. Deidre Lotspeech and Mr. J.P. Kirshner. We are also appreciative to FCHS alumnus, Sheriff Ron Freeman, for all that he does to support our school and community. We are also grateful to Mayor Troy Brumbelow and the team at the City of Cumming for their support of FCHS throughout the year. One very special group of people who are deserving of recognition today are our guidance counselors and members of our student support team, Ms. Allison Carvel. Ms. Martha Chatlin. Miss Jamie DeCaro. Miss Andrea Katz. Miss Jennifer Rotunda. Miss Leslie Flaff. Our student advocacy specialist, Miss Courtney Knight. And our school social worker, Miss Karen White. We would also like to recognize several people who worked very hard alongside our teachers and counselors to help many of us get to this point today. Ms. Stephanie Duran. Mr. Joe Steed. And our graduation coach, Ms. Paula Zamis. Our school works to go above and beyond to help students learn important ways to maintain wellness. This effort is led by our own wellness coach and community school coordinator, Ms. Karen Cole. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the 2022 Forsyth Central Teacher of the Year, Mr. Paul Malalu. Finally, with us today is our very own FCHS administrative team, Miss Angela Hurt. Mr. Casey Martin. Miss Carrie McAllister. Mr. Jonathan Schreier. Mr. Chris Woodall. Mr. Dan Kaplan. 
Mr. Michael Parker. Miss Antonia Alberga Parisi. And our principal, Dr. Josh Lowe. At this time, please welcome our senior class vice president, Mr. TJ Stevens. Good morning, class of 2022. It may have seemed like a long time, and goodness knows it's been unique compared to many previous graduating classes. In my book, us even making it here today makes us pretty special. There will be time to discuss what is coming next, but first, let's briefly pause and give thanks to some folks who helped us get here today. No one here today would have made it without those special loved ones here in the audience. I would like the grandparents, parents, guardians, and anyone else who has been there to support us along the way, please stand so that we can recognize you. As for Sy Central High School has the longest and most storied history of any school in this county, we also have the largest alumni base. If you are here today and are a graduate of FCHS, please stand to be recognized. As many of you know, we are blessed to be supported by the Forsyth Central Alumni Association. Their purpose is to provide resources to help preserve our great history, enhance our current facilities, and invest in our future. They are providing each of us graduating today with a one-year membership in this organization. To everyone involved with the FCAA, we thank you. We are very proud to recognize several of our classmates who will be pursuing careers in the United States Armed Forces after high school. At this time, I would like to call the names of our brave classmates so that we can publicly thank them. Wesley Adams, United States Marines. <laughs> Delton Castleberry, United States Air Force, Space Force. <laughs> Ariel Cohen, United States Navy. Wesley Mansfield, United States Army Reserves. <laughs> Zaquan McClendon, United States Army. Alex Perez, United States Marines. Brandon Gayton Rodriguez, United States Air Force. Christian Rosa, United States Coast Guard. Anakin Smith, United States Marines. Jacob Wingo, United States Army. Several of our classmates have achieved the rank of Eagle Scout, so please join me in recognizing the following. Gabriel Allen. Peyton Drinkard, Ethan Fortgang, Mac Howe, James Petrushock, and Sam Woolery. Additionally, one of our classmates have achieved the rank of the Girl Scout Gold Award, so please join me in recognizing Lori Ellie Powell. Each year, we recognize those students who have achieved a 4.0 or higher grade point average over their four years as high school students. This year, we have 131 senior scholars with high honors. Please rise. We also recognize those who have achieved a 3.5 or higher grade point average and our honor graduates. This year we have 312 honor graduates. Please rise. This ceremony marks the seventh group of STEM students who have made it all the way through four years of our rigorous STEM Academy. Will the red trim graduates of our STEM Academy please rise?
This ceremony also marks an exciting milestone. The first ever students who have made it through four years of our prestigious Humanities Academy are graduating today. Will the white trim graduates of our Humanities Academy please rise? We look forward to next year when the first graduates to complete the Central Film Academy will walk across this very stage. This year, our star student is Junkie Shaw. Will Junkie Shaw please rise? Her selection as our star teacher was Ms. Marla Hatfield. Ms. Hatfield, please rise. We are thrilled to share that we have three National Merit finalists this year. Join me in recognizing Cameron Aguilar, Griffin Collins, and Saket Suman. <laughs> the class of 2022 has to this date netted almost 8.5 million in scholarship dollars. This is quite the accomplishment. Please give them a round of a hand. A round of applause. <laughs> Exciting events like today do not just happen. They are the culmination of tremendous teamwork from many different people. The senior video that we were able to enjoy earlier today was completed by our wonderful Central Film Academy students and their teacher, Jason Hanline. <laughs> Ms. Amy Neal and our senior chorus will perform today. Please take a rise and bow. Leading our senior class this year, organizing our events and coordinating this ceremony and making sure we've had the best senior year possible is the following. Ms. Denny Proctor. Mr. Ryan Payne. And Ms. Becky Dean. Last but definitely not least, we know there is no way we would be here today without the best teachers in the world. Would the faculty and staff of Forsyth Central High School please rise and be recognized? As for Scythe County's original high school, FCHS has been blessed throughout the years with so many supportive people from throughout our community. While we are fortunate to have the Forsyth Central Alumni Association to honor many of our past graduates, there is another group of people who by words and actions represent what it means to be a Central Bulldog. People who have modeled what the Central family really is, people who have helped make our school the great place that it is, and many of these people are people who didn't even attend FCHS. With that in mind, this year we are beginning a new tradition of recognizing these people who are dogs by choice with an honorary diploma. So with that in mind, could the following two people please come forward to accept your honorary diploma from Versailles Central High School. First is Kenny Fox, FCHS principal from 1989 to 2006. Next up is Rudy Hampton, FCHS principal from 2006 to 2014. Please join me in congratulating our first two honorary graduates as we thank them for their contributions to FCHS. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to present Leila Vieta, who was chosen to be this year's senior address speaker. Hello, fellow graduates. <laughs> 
For those of you who don't know me, my name is Leila Vieta. I would like to start off by saying that it is an honor for me to stand up here today. As I look up and down these rows, I see people from different backgrounds, different cultures, and different experiences. And I know that for many of us, school was more than just a daily requirement. It meant leaving our comfort zones to make our families proud. Some of us are the first in our families, and some of us are the third or fourth or fifth, but making it this far is truly rewarding. It was difficult making it here. We were not only faced with COVID-19, we were hugely affected by it. For a long time, the classic high school experience was unavailable to us. But we were able to achieve what we could with the help of our biggest supporters, families and friends. Despite our challenges, we were able to be a part of some transitions here at Central. We went from the concrete stadium to the largest and nicest stadium in Forsyth County. <sighs> we went from the baseball parking lot to the new city center parking lots. <laughs> we went from one academy to having three. And we went from Mr. Young's nothing good happens after midnight to Dr. Lowe's focus on the good in life. Both very true. <laughs> Through all this change, Central has always been our home away from home. Now, I could stand here and tell you what our next steps should look like, but the truth is, the only person to dictate what you're going to do moving forward is yourself. Whether it be going to college, trade school, work, the military, or anything else, our lives will be laid out by whatever we choose or whoever we dream to be. Being a part of this class, this school, and this county has been a privilege. Here, we can and have been able to make changes within our community and school with the help of our administrators. With that being said, on behalf of the class of 2022 and Dr. Josh Lowe's first graduating class, I would like to thank all of the administrators. Whether it be Mr. Woodall saving us from trouble, Ms. Hurt walking by with Colt to give us a motivational boost, or Mr. Martin giving us back the speaker at our craziest football game after taking it away from us. <laughs> Each and every one of them have motivated us in more ways than one. Even without being at the top of the class or being a student ambassador, our voices are still heard. Something I admire about Central is knowing that our staff and faculty care for us and are here to support us. They have demonstrated this countless times. And because of this, I know that Central is not just a school, but a family which was further proven with the help of those who directly contribute to driving our education, our teachers and counselors. For me, it was my cosmetology teachers, Ms. Jones, Ms. Malalu, and Ms. Brown. All of these teachers have caused me to flourish into a confident and powerful person. Ms. Malalu helped me break out of my shell, and Ms. Jones encouraged me to make a name for myself. And let's not forget our Teacher of the Year, Mr. Paul Malalu. His guidance, his uplifting attitude, and his hilarious dad jokes have stayed with me. And although he was never my teacher in class, he was a father figure to me and an inspiration to us all. These are just a few examples of the kind of teachers that help create a sense of family here at Central. Along with our amazing teachers, we have amazing students who are always there to support our teams. Being a part of the energy at our football games, watching everyone go wild at Dome Coming, and listening to our band during halftime has proved that the crazies show out at every game to support our teams. <laughs> Not only that, our theater department has worked overtime to put on the best shows in Forsyth County. 
and we have a chorus that is second to none. And to those who worked hard to get through our rigorous STEM, our humanities, or our film academies, congratulations. Here's to all the lessons learned and all the memories made. Moving forward, we have to carry the values we learned here to wherever we go. We have to continue to use our voices for what we believe in. In the end, we're all here, united as Bulldogs. So, finally, whose house? Thank you. At this time, please join me in recognizing the top students of our graduating class. This year, we are fortunate at FCHS to have two students who finished the school year with a, with a statistical tie as our co-salutatorians. Let's give a round of applause to Riley Brumblow and Dakota Jacks for this achievement. Will you guys please come to stage? <laughs> Everybody, round of applause as they come up stage, please. Finishing at the top of our class, please give a huge Seahouse hand to our 2022 valedictorian, Mackenzie Scaff. At this time, please welcome to the stage the Precise Central Chorus.
At this time, I would like to introduce our principal, Dr. Josh Lowe. Good morning. It's a wonderful day in coming, Georgia. It feels great to be back here in the fairgrounds. I'm excited to be here today to recognize the 66th graduating class from Forsyth Central High School, the class of 2022. Not only is this class very special to me in many ways, they're my first ever class since becoming principal, my own daughters among the students who will graduate today. <laughs> to say that this year has been unique will be an understatement. However, in a year full of firsts for me, I am proud that we were able to return to many traditions at Central that students have long held as important aspects of their high school experience. Not only were we able to have a full year of face-to-face -face learning, extracurricular and co-curricular activities, we were able to have many other traditional events that are simply there to make school fun. Things like homecoming dances, ball games, prom, fine arts performances, and last but not least, things like senior activities such as putting the handprints on the hallowed halls of the Sea House. Throughout the year, our, senior have, our seniors have led the charge on a year full of accomplishments at our school. Many of those achievements have led to lasting memories that we'll recall fondly in the days and years to come. To list just a handful of these, first I'd like to say that the Sea House was recognized for the seventh consecutive year as the best high school in Forsyth County by the Forsyth County News. Our eSports Rocket League team won not one, not one, but two state championships. Our comp cheer team completed their season as the state runner-ups in Class 7A. Both flag football and volleyball had impressive seasons and wound up advancing to the Elite Eight. Our bass fishing team completed their season with two teams advancing to the state finals. And our LFH group had a record number of percenters at this year's Poetry Declamation Day. Girls Swim completed an impressive run that ended with them being ranked eighth in the state. Our always impressive automotive program had four teams in their season, pardon me, four teams in their year ranked in the top 10 nationally, including one of them being the Georgia State Champions. In literary, senior Allison Oldani was the state runner-up in extemporaneous speech. Our always competitive drumline finished their season ranked number two in the state at the GIPA State Championships. Our gymnastics team wrapped up their season ranked fourth in the state and made it to prom. <laughs> this season, our track team had a wonderful year with a re school record number, 18 student athletes advancing to sectionals and 14 of them qualifying for state competitions. <laughs> this include, I'm sorry. Uh, this included senior Sarah Pipping, who finished her season ranked fourth in the state in high jump. <laughs> Soccer continued to shine with both teams advancing to the playoffs and our boys team advancing to the Sweet 16. <laughs> this year, Forsyth Central was the first high school 
chapter in Forsyth County to join the Helping Hands in Hunter organization. To date, that group has rescued over 3,500 pounds of unused food to redistribute throughout our community and school. Our DECA chapter continued to excel and wound up as the fourth largest chapter in the state of Georgia. Our Skills USA chapter was recognized this year as a gold chapter of excellence. Our FFA chapter, which is only in its third year since resuming as a program at Central, has grown to over 70 members and for the first time was recognized this year as a gold chapter award. Our FCCLA chapter completed their year with two national qualifiers and had three students finish in the top five at state. Our TSA chapter was ranked eighth in the state of Georgia and our FBLA was awarded the Gold Chapter Award for the second year in a row. HOSA continued to excel and had 10 students finish in the top 10 in the state at their competitions this year. And last but certainly not least, our robotics team placed 11th in state and our, our program continues to grow. I could go on and on because this class has achieved so many wonderful things. But these things are, and these accomplishments are simply a brief snapshot of several areas that have made this school year successful. More importantly, there are areas and activities that make our students feel connected at the Sea House. A year as wonderful as this would in so many ways not have happened without the tremendous leadership of Dr. Bearden and our Board of Education who have led us through the most unique and difficult years that have occurred during the majority of our lives. For that, we are grateful. Many times during my nine years at Forsyth Central, both as an assistant principal and now as your principal, I've had students visit my office for different reasons, sometimes good, sometimes maybe we had to have a courageous conversation. But either way, during those conversations, I would often give those kids advice as if they were my own. To be honest, many of those times I sort of felt like they were, and I would, I would tell them, guys, I'm gonna give you a dad chat. So with that phrase in mind, I wanna share a few thoughts with you today that I believe are applicable to each of you as you head out into what is next, whether that be the military, the workforce, or if you continue your path through education and go through college. It is my belief that for any of us to be successful in our lives and what is next and through whatever accomplishments and challenges lie ahead, that we must embrace what I like to call the four F's for a successful future. These four words are not just empty words or phrases, but rather points to live by, to embrace, and to keep in mind as we go through the ups and downs of life. While they are in no way conclusive, and I'm aware that there are other words, other phrases that may apply here and there, as well as other ideas for success. However, I wanna share with you today why I believe that these four things are things to keep in mind as you head into the years to come. All right, guys, you're still kids. The first word's an important one. The first word's the word fun. We all know what fun is, and fun looks different to everybody. However, whatever healthy activities you consider fun, they need to be an ongoing and most importantly intentional part of your daily walk and your daily routine. Part of having fun is remembering to be grateful, to be grounded, and to be present. Making an effort to do these things will not only help you to appreciate the many blessings that we have in our lives, it also allows us to appreciate the family and friends that we have or the family and friends that we're gonna make in the coming years. Those relationships will be foundational for most successful things throughout your life. With that said, you must also be reminded that the trajectory of your life will most often be influenced by the people you surround yourself with. My late grandmother, Louise Moore, used to tell me when I was a child that birds of a feather flock together. Now perhaps those, that phrase can be more easily explained with this. You're gonna be influenced in the coming years by the people you spend the most time with. I've often said that if I cross paths with a kid at Central who's being respectful, earning good grades, and contributing to our school in a positive way, they're surrounded by a group of kids that are doing the same thing. Unfortunately, the same can also be said in return. So if you head out into what is next, be sure that you're spending the majority of your time with people who share your vision for your future. Those relationships will come to help you, pardon me, those relationships will help you become who you choose to become. Those people will also typically share your views of what fun is and isn't. While having fun, stay grounded. I can assure you in life, you're either humble or you'll wind up being humbled. 
So regardless of your accomplishments, the path you take, how much money you earn, or where you live, be reminded that we're all in this together. The theme for our year at Central this year has been connectivity. Just as we are at Central, you're going to find yourself connected in the coming years to a variety of things as you head out in your future. So always be reminded to do what our school mission encourages you, look for ways to serve, and in doing that, you'll not only have fun, but you'll have meaningful experiences throughout your life. Keep in mind that to have fun at anything, you must be present in the moment. It seems that many times today in our life, people stumble through their days staring at their phones. Likely, perhaps even subconsciously comparing their day or their lives to other people's views or posts on social media. Those are not reality in many times, guys. Many times those are simply a snapshot of what people want you to think about them. I promise you that if we put your phone away, pay attention to what is going on in your world, the people you're with, you'll find more laughs and fun happening around you and you won't miss those things while you're zoned out looking at a device. Be reminded that having fun will also help you to reflect on... <laughs> Be reminded that having fun will also help you to reflect on important things as you work to continue making memories to hold close as you go through each chapter of life. In addition to making good choices and having fun as you head out to what's next, the second word I want you to keep in mind, guys, is the word fortitude. Fortitude is described as having the strength of mind that enables a person to encounter adversity with determination. Having fortitude will also help you to have the courage to stay true to your convictions and will help you to remain who you are as a person. Not what you are, but who you are. As we've discussed at Central in recent years, who you are is always going to mean a lot more than what you are and ultimately what you choose to do in the days and the years to come. Who you are is a reflection of the character that you have, and I'm wondering the best way to determine what your character is. I believe the best way to determine that is to think about who you are when nobody's watching. My late mother, Rena Lowe, used to tell me every day when I left the house to be a good boy and make her proud. Now I'm well aware as I've grown that I've done that better some days than others. However, guys, the same can likely be said for many of you, because I can assure you that whether you think about it or not, your parents or guardians or, or what you do will always be a reflection of who you are, your family members, and those closest to you. That should help to inspire you to make good decisions and to do the right things each and every day. So in the coming days and years, without your parents or guardians to encourage you to make the right decisions, possibly without your teacher, your boss, your siblings, your friends, or even your principal watching, always think about what you do with your time and how you conduct yourself. Your character and who you are will not only be a reflection of those decisions, but it will be a reflection of the grit, the determination, and the drive you have to reach your goals as you reach for what is next. These will eventually help you to become the person that you choose to become. Keep in mind that there will be also be challenging days, so always give yourself grace, guys. Always give grace to others as well. People make mistakes, but those mistakes can be used as lessons if you learn from them, don't repeat them and become a better version of who you are. So as you enter the next chapter, there will be days things don't go your way. Perhaps you'll drop the ball. If you do, take responsibility, keep showing up, keep pushing yourself to reach your goals, and you'll find that that is ultimately a reflection of your character and that what you do in life will always speak so much louder than anything you say. The third word today, guys, is the word fearless. Now, please know that I'm a realist and everybody's scared of something. Rumor has it one of your administrators is even scared of cats. So, when I say fearless, I'm not suggesting that you're never scared. I'm saying that you should work to never live in fear. Let's be honest, guys. Graduating after 12 or more years of having a school to attend, your parents or guardians impacting your decisions, possibly moving on and losing touch with some longtime friends, going off to college, the military or the workforce, those things can be scary, and that's okay. However, you should not let those fears guide your next steps. Not letting fear control you or your choices will ultimately help you to follow the path that you want to follow in life, and it'll help you to focus on the forest and not focus on the trees. When you're scared, the best thing I can suggest for you is to weigh the pros and cons of any situation and always make an effort to control your fears instead of letting them control you. Realize that many times, guys, life happens, doesn't happen to you, but happens for you. So put an end to blames and excuses work to reach your goals, and control the outcome of your next story. By not living in fear, you will see the possibilities open for you, which will enable you to see the world as a place for opportunities, not a place for obstacles. Additionally, by not letting your fears control you, 
you will likely experience much more joy in your life, reach more goals, build stronger relationships, and you'll have a much better chance of enjoying what is next for you. To do that, you'll have to maintain your focus on the good that will, become, that will come in the coming days and not stay focused on the risk. That, of course, brings us to the fourth word of the day, and I would be surprised if any of our seniors were surprised to hear that that's the word focus. As Layla, as Layla previously mentioned, I've spent time this year encouraging you to focus on the good in your life. I've told you if you focus on what's good, you'll find it. If you focus on what is wrong, you'll find that. So work each day to be a blessing to somebody else and to focus on the good each and every day. I've said this throughout the year because I truly believe that this is the foundational frame of mind which will help us best equip you to live without fear, to develop fortitude, and to have fun in the coming years. I'm aware that it's easy to say focus on the good and not always easy to do. But with some parting words as you head out into what is next, I want you to be aware that you're fencing to walk across the stage in a few minutes and receive your well-earned diploma from what I believe is the best high school and the best school district and the best state in our country. That diploma is in many ways your ticket to what is next. Every one of you worked hard for it. You need to celebrate this and be proud. But as you head out into what is next, life will have its share of challenges, just as I know the past four years have had for many of us and for many of you. As those arise, lean into your family, your friends, your faith, and strive each day to focus on the good. Some days that may be easier than others, but never doubt that there's good in each and every day. As you hit any bumps in the road that come, keep in mind what the late General Colin Powell said, and always focus on the windshield and not the rearview mirror. We live in a blessed community and the best country on the face of the earth. So never forget who you are, never forget where you came from, and never forget to keep your eyes focused on where you're going. Regardless of what you do, always begin with the end in mind, and remember that each day you'll take a step nearer or further from your ultimate goals. So whether you got into the first college choice you had or not, whether your first job or military assignment was your first preference or not, focus on the opportunities that did work out and that will work out in the coming days and years. As you do this, always remember that you're a Passage Central Bulldog. You can do anything you put your mind to. I hope that you know that serving as your principal for the past year has been one of the highest honors in my life. I truly love you guys. I look forward to um, hearing about your great accomplishments in the coming years. May God always bless you, and go Central Bulldogs. Before releasing our diplomas today, please allow me to share a few words with our graduates on behalf of our superintendent of schools, Dr. Jeff Bearden. From Dr. Bearden, graduates, I sincerely regret missing today's commencement exercises. I'm currently in Boston to celebrate with my daughter Madison as she is graduating from Suffolk University today. Congratulations to the class of 22. You have persevered through some very challenging times. I could not be more proud of you or for you. I wish you all great success in life's next chapter. Dr. Bearden has delegated the authority to release and confer diplomas to our Deputy Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Young. I could not think of anyone more fitting today to join me on stage to do that, besides Dr. Bearden, of course, than the person that was your principal for three years. So with that, I would like to ask Mr. Young to join me. Mr. Young, I present to you the Precise Central High School's 66th graduating class, the class of 2022. I assure you that these seniors have met all graduation requirements as set forth by the state of Georgia and the Forsyth County Schools Board of Education. Parents, family, friends, faculty and staff, Forsyth County Board of Education, and the senior class. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Georgia, and through the Forsyth County Board of Education, I do hereby confer upon each of you the diploma for which you have qualified. Class of 2022, you did it! Now, as you celebrate this, you should remember these three things. 
celebrate and have fun without the drugs and alcohol. Call or text when you get where you're going. And remember, nothing good happens after midnight. Congratulations, and I still love you guys and always will. Dr. Lowe, they're all yours. At this time, we will begin the presentation for our diplomas. So, first row. Brennan James Smith. Tristan Alexander Buchanan. Eric Garrison Knoll. Wesley Ryan Adams. Cameron Lily Aguilar. Diana Aguilera. Christopher Aguilera Mendoza. Christina Ajibor. Hannah Alher. Cooper Joseph Alamond. Gabriel Christian Allen. Tessa N. Allen. Briar Angeli Allhouse. Eva Miguel Alonso. Alex Alvarado. Raven Alvarez. Krishna Amuluru. William Dalton Andrews. Juan Pablo Angel. Caitlin Elizabeth Anthony. Shayan Akil. Melanie Arantes. Maria Eduarda Elias de Araujo. Isabel Ariaga. Lisbeth Arroyo. Lisbeth Arroyo Bedoya. Sayed Nabil Arshad. Alexander James Aries. Lydia Hasmin Avalos. Emily Lane Avila. Gabriel Jose Ayala Vargas. Chloe June Bailey. 
Caden William Baker. Logan Alexandra Baldwin. Avery Clark Banks. London Barlow. Jeremy Barnes. Noel Campbell Barnett. Trinity Danielle Bartley. Genesis Daviana Batista. Evan James Baum. Natalie H. Baysmore. Cobri Brendan Bennett. Caitlin Carol Benson. Hallie Christine Bergstrom. Anzor Benali. Kiera Lynn Binion. Ian Arthur Binion. Ryan Patrick Blair. Ashley Elizabeth Blanks. Nathan James Blitz. Jacob Bryce Bolt. John William Bonagowski. Olivia Deanne Bowen. Calvin Barry Bowers. Rachel Marguerite Bowman. Peyton Taylor Braddock. Jillian G. Young Bretts. Declan Brooks. Rhiannon Dawn Brooks. Marcus David Brown. Melissa L. Brown. Riley Page Brumbelow. Cole M. Brumbelow. Alexandra Catherine Brunson. Emma Grace Bryan. Paul Bradley Bice. Murphy Rayner Bullard. Tyler Rogers Bumpus. Vivian Burns. Isabella Sophia Bussey. Sarah Catherine Burtz. William Charles Edwin Byers. Megan Elizabeth Byrne. Ayana Michelle Cabrera. Liliana Henrietta Kagler. Rowan Calcano. Saira Areli Camacho. Aiden Wesley Campbell. Jacob Grant Campbell. Christina Marie Kennedy. Ricardo Carmona. Cameron Patrick Carnahan. Megan Ann Carpenter. David Carpio. Fernando Carrillo Ailon.
Carieli y Lisbeth Castaneda. Noah Raúl Castaneda Álvarez. Delton Castleberry. Josiah Jim Celestin. Kevin Celestino Vasquez. Emily Nicole Centers. Paul Vincent Saracini. Jonathan Seron. Oscar Jesus Cerro. Jonathan Anthony Cervantes. Alex Yair Chacon Moreno. Cade Clifford Chitty. Elijah Deng Cho. Victoria Maria Citrone. Ava Celeste Clavijo. Corinne Nicole Cox. Ginger Lanai Cromarty. Alexis Rose Crooks. Stephen Ryan Seplo. Charlotte Nicole Cutter. Abigail De Silva. Laurel M. Daniel. Sydney Marie Danielson. Sean Richard Darnell. L. Margaret Davenport. Sydney Grace DeHaan. Daniel Nehemiah De La Paz. Eric Delgado Flores. Eva M. Durr. Nicole M. Durr. Tanin Diara. Josue Olvaldo Diaz. Reese Camille Disharoon. Allison Catherine Dauberton. Hannah Donaldson. Peyton Charles Drenkard. Haley Marie Drew. Jonah Everett Drummond. Murilo Duarte Pereira. Taylor Maylin Dubose. Josiah Anthony Duffin. Noah Christopher Duncan. Katie Jane Dunman. Jesse Duong. Grayson Ann Duran. Sullivan Esch. Elizabeth Maria Eason. Catherine Janet Eaton. Emily Margaret Elwood. Chloe Madison Enchil. Sarana Alexa Enchil. Maeve Natalie Engelert.
María Hermelinda Espinal, Paige Mackenzie Fagan, Luke Isaac Ferguson, Adrián Alejandre Fernández, Tyler Andrew Fisk, Charles Quinn Fitzgerald, Emily Grace Fitzpatrick, MJ Fitzpatrick, Abigail Dominique Flanagan, Stephanie Flores, Gloria Nicole Fallas, Christy Jean Fallas, Camden Michael Ford, Ethan Garrett Fortgang, Aiden Michael Frank. Eurydia Nayeli Franco. Gabrielle Shea France. Zachary Charles Furbush. Gavin Shea Gangdon. Danielle Catherine Gallagos. Emmanuel Garcia. Anahi Garcia Ramirez. Evelyn Garcia Vega. Kyan D'Angelo Gardner. Evelyn Gardunia Cruz. Meredith Grace Garner. Olivia Marie Garrison. Everardo Gasca. Sunjana Gadanini. Andrew Charles Gosling. Brandon. Gayton Rodriguez. Alyssa Juliana Jardina. Amanda Kelly Gill. Faith Mackenzie Gottfried. Sarah Gomez. Juan Gomez, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Eric Gonzalez, Jessica Gonzalez, Junior Thomas Gonzalez. Lucero Gonzalez. Sharon Gonzalez. Israel Gonzalez Gomez. Louis Angel Gonzalez Fuentes. Alexis Gonzalez Martinez. Talia J. Grant. Dakota Green. Taylor M. Green. Carson Christina Grossman. Jocelyn Guerrero. Jairo Gael Guevara Guzman. 
Andrew Stephen Guzman. Angelique Thurshell Guzman Hurtado. Luke Joseph Greiner. Cassidy Ann Hackney. Patrick William Hartell. Patrick Michael Haley. Caitlin Marie Hall. McKenna Shea Hollerman. Avery Grace Hamilton. William Conway Hammonds. Eli Claire Hamrick. Shelby K. Hanner. Sarah Grace Harding. Joseph Hartzler. Jacob Daniel Hazlitt. Matthew Bradley Hayden. Jackson Dylan Head. Dawson J. Heim. Caleb Owen Heiser. Colin Reese Helm. Shania Deja Henry. William J. Herbert. Karen Hitzel Hernandez. Jessica Hernandez, Hernandez Leon. Adiel Alberto Hernandez Medina. Carter J. Heron. Ivan Manuel Herring. Emily Elizabeth Hertzler. Gage Joseph. Hertzberger, Sarah Lynn Hireman, Daniel Pierce Hicks, Drew Kaylee Hill, Ethan Thomas Hill, Kaylin Michelle Hill, Nuriel Kareem Hishmay. Hayden Hollenbach. Lydian Claire Holt. Aiden Blaine Holton. Ainsley Lynn Hopkins. Savannah Leanne Hutt. Angelina Marie Houston. <laughs> Philip McCarthy Howe. Cody Hartley Howe. Emily Catherine Hubbard. Emma Elizabeth Humphreys. Caden K. Huntley. Alexander Jadat Majid Husseina. Ekra Ibrahimi. Sima Ibrahimi. Noel Marie Inglesis Burks. Ella Illich. Jean Herbert Nishetti Aracosi. Diana Eve Leva. Dakota Ray Jacks. Alina Danielle Jackson. Um 
Tapsavi Jashwal. Alicia Marie Jarvis. Riley Jeffries Gaglione. Samuel Hazen Jeffries. Sarah Oline Jenny. Kyla Jade Jeter. Alejandra Guadalupe Jimenez Ordonez. Ashley Nicole Johnson. Garrett Logan Johnson. Reese Paige Johnson. Theon Johnson. Corbin McCoy Jones. Madden Douglas Jones. Malachi Latroy Jones. Parker Ann Jones. Lorena Elba Juarez Antonio. Brandon David Caravite. Haley Elizabeth Katz. Hannah K. Kadeski. Megan Riley K. Sinyan Kerr. Luke Kelly. Grace Alyssa Kemp. Ainsley Susan Kendall. Sarah Ann Kerr. Sharon Cotady. Reese LaShawn King. Emmanuel Ethan King. John Peter Kirsch. Emma Rose Kaiser. Olivia Page Clean. Alyssa Rianne Knopp. William Daniel Kunson. Brianna Marie Koffel. Kaylee Jade Colamanin. Paulina Cornell Aleva. Sawathi Kabor. Kyle Ellinger Kolwazek. Daniel Kozirau. Trey Colton Kuhn. Catherine Marie Katsera. Giovanni Labra Guzman. Hallie Alexandra Lampet. Alejandro Jose Lanuza. Hollis Jude Lasky. Madeline Elizabeth Lau. Gabriel Autry Lau. Adam Joseph Lawrence. Ben James Lawrence. Carson L. Leahy. Camden Michael Leak. Carson Matthew Leak. Mackenzie Lee Leary. Tobias Joaquin Lagara. Salvador Lamus. Abraham Lamus. Fabiola, Fabiola Leon. 
Aileen Linarte Escobedo. Christopher Lopez. Justin Lopez. Isaac Lopez. Angelica Daniela Lopez Janos. Heidi Judith Lopez Rangel. Mariana Lopez Torres. Leonardo Luna Rodriguez. Emily Grace Lundstrom. Mina Blythe Lynch. Aishwini Madanu. Jared Alexander Madrigal. Pamela Madrigal. John Kevin Maldonado. Farida Mamedova. Jennifer Julia Arturivna Manjuk. Wesley Sylvester Mansfield. Rachel Jordan Marafi. Thomas Joseph Marcus. Aldina Yashaevna Mardalieva. William Marsden. Carter Tad Martin. Luis Robert Martinez. Brandon Matthew Martinez Ozejo. Angel David Matamoros. Mark Stefan Matancias. Jacob Glenn Maddox. Kendall Lee Maynard. Ashlyn Danielle McCall. Megan Alana McCarthy. Zaquan Carl Eric McClendon. Michael Cannon McCurdy. Audrey Angeline McElroy. Malachi Jeremiah McElroy. Liam Patrick McKenna. Shelby Tess McKinley. Jonah Russell McLaughlin. Jackson Patrick McNabb. Austin Tyler McNeil. Eduardo Medina. Samuel Alexander Medrano. Sofia Vanessa Mejia Morazan. Juan Emilio Mendez Lopez. Grace Cynthia Mercer. Ryan Paul Meyer. Britton Lydia Myers. Alexander Meza Medina. Rodrigo Mezquital Gonzalez. Hannah Riley Miller. Mary Catherine Miranda. 
Pratik Mishra. Hemalakshanya Mohan. Brenna Marie Monroe. Anderson Monroe De La Cruz. Holland Joanna Moon. Ethan Gray Morales. Brian Allen Morales Chora. Stephanie Blanca Moreno. Cord Ezekiel Morgan. Evan Tyler Morris. Lauren Beth Morris. Michaela Grace Morris. Amber Rose Morton. Allison Mary Rosinski. Malika Mukamedova. Madison Lachey Mulligan. Andrew Stephen Mulvane. Arisha A. Nayak. Anna Carolina Nakazawa Search. Cassidy Rose Nash. Jacqueline Grace Neal. Eddie Negron Rodriguez. Cody River Nymeister. Emma Paige Nelms. Naomi Nayara Netherland. William Bray Neville. Amelia Noel Nicholson. Jonathan Negusi. Maya J. Norman. Allison Little Norris. Garrett Bradley Northam. Joseph Robert Norton. Pao Chiangtung Nung. Russell Lee Nurnberg. Madison Michelle Odom. Natalia Nicole Ojeda. Allison Beatrice Oldani. Favor Awanli Omenka. Kellen Brooke O'Neill. Cody J. Opegar. Miroslav Alex Ostrovsky. Mia Corin Ott. Megan Rose Owenby. Nathaniel B. Owens. Matthew Brandon Pack. Carlos Palomino Miranda. Alondra Marisol Panama Estrella. Sean Mehul Patel. Dylan John Payne. Emma Riley Payne. Noah James Payne. Carson Ryan Paquette. 
Zachary Alexander Payne. <laughs> Ashley Paz Gonzalez. <laughs> Juliana Pazimino. <laughs> Edwin Gabriel Pitch. <laughs> Lauren Lillian Pecari. Dainer Peña Penton. Laura Peral Alvarez. Ruben Alexander Perez. Brian Perez Mari. Enrique Amado Perez. Oshlaj. Gustavo Perez. <laughs> Kelly Perez. Daniel Robert Perlman. <laughs> Kathleen Ellen Perry. Ryan Perry. James Jefferson Petrisha. <laughs> Haley Victoria Phillips. Jake Lehman Phillips. Matthew Sean Phillips. Audrey Grace Pijera. Tiago Sampaio Pino. Sarah Grace Pipping. Landon Reed Putra. Phelan Evans Porvin. Jacob Franklin Porter. Lorelai Alexandria Powell. Ansley Salet Prada Brausin. Ethan Santiago Prada Brausin. Matthew Guy Primiano. Isabella Quinceño. Kevin Ariel Quintanilla Ruiz. Evan Levi Rainwater. Brandon Stanley Ramirez Argueta. Miroslava Ramirez Cruz. Alan David Ramos. Jack Joseph Ramu. <laughs> Michaela Ashley Ratner. Alini Olivia Rausch. Ethan Andrew Rausch. Autumn Nayara Artis. Larissa Denise Reed. Arley O'Cassidy Riley. Jose Alfredo Reina Lopez. Megan Marie Reynolds. Ashley Ray Rice. Evan Nicholas Rice. Charles Anthony Richards the third. Caitlin. 
Annalie Ricks. Avery J. Ring. Elijah Louise Rios. Javier Rios. Shayla Vanessa Rios Acevedo. Clara Ann Francis Repay. Alexander Rivera. Melvin Estuardo Rivera Lopez. Ricardo Rivera Lopez. Natalie Ann Roberts. Gianna Isabella Roberti. Matthew Kyle Robinson. Olivia Shane Rocky. Igor Rodriguez Gonsalves. Riley Paige Rogers. Karen Rojas Ramirez. Nasa Karen Rocala. Rachel Caitlin Romero. Christian Allen Rosa. John Richard Rossman. Aiden James Robert Roth. Juana Lizette Ruiz Ariola. Montserrat Ruiz Romero. Moises Salado de Olio. Harris Samir. Mariana Regina Sanchez Ramirez. Cordovan Sky Sanders. Eric Geraldo Sandoval. Kevin Gael Santos Manzano. Jason Michael Satterfield. Shelby Elizabeth Satterfield. Margot Lee Scaff. Mary Mackenzie Scaff. Morgan Nicole Schlapfer. Timothy B. Schultz. Stella Grace Say. Alvaro Servin Garcia. Mason R. Shadburn. John Key S. Shaw. RJ Shaheen. Oh. Parav Shah. Cameron Shikmanov. Thomas Mac Shefshunas. Chase Alexander Sheely. Abby Olivia Shields. Elizabeth Ann Shields. William James Shimmons. Maggie Alice Shiver. Sydney Shostak. Arena Simokovich. 
Taylor Scott Simpson. Logan Robert Sindoni. Dylan Anthony Skaronsky. Anakin Aren Smith. Harrison Alexander Smith. Jordan Sierra Smith. Judah Hosanna Smith. Olivia Ann Smith. Gabby Samosa. Kimberly Sotelo. Christopher Gavin Springer. Bailey A. Spiker. Cade Daniel Smith. Steele. Cade Daniel Steele. Tim Olivia Bailey Thies. Keziah Lydia Thomas. Sawyer Noel Thomas. Tristan Scott Thomas. Catherine Rose Thompson. Tyler Richard Thompson. Brian Israel Torado. Guiado Torres. Daisy Mayret Torres Gallegos. Orlin A. Torres Guzman. Hayden Olivia Trammell. Juliet Vale. Sydney May Vallier. Abigail Marie Ballone. Peyton Alexandria Vasque. Juan Vega. Alex Mauricio Vega Labra. Kimberly Velasco Marida. Vincent Michael Velasquez. Riley Parker Vielhaber. Ulysses Steve Villagomez. Layla Natalie Villeda. Tomas Andres Bisoso. Alan Bisweth. Genevieve Ann Volpe. Kumba Kena Wada. Chase Roman Walbrun. Olivia Catherine Ward. Benjamin J. Waro. Connor Christopher Waro. Zoe Olivia Wasson. Ridley Thomas Watson. Matthew Taylor Webb. Mason Thomas Weldy. 
Aiden William Wharton. Jaden Douglas White. Nasir Rashad White. Chloe, Chloe Leanne Wigley. Alexander Benjamin John Willie. Dominic Allen Natale Wilt Willie. Reagan Kimber Williams. Delaney Elizabeth Willits. Ansley E. Wilson. William Edward Wilson. Jacob Jared Wingo. Jordan Bailey Wolfson. Olivia Catherine Wood. Samuel Joseph Woolery. Eliana Faith Wooten. Blair Wozniak. Anna Elizabeth Yarborough. James Ray Yarborough. Lama Fuad Yunus. Jada Renee Uris. Sean E. Zara. Syed Muhammad Ahmad Zari. Syed Muhammad Kumail Zari. Alexis Lynn Zarati. Ivan Zanil Saron. Zeng Bing Zeng. Damir Zemejvak. Brian Jesus Zuniga. Jalina Zuniga Garnica. And Mary Elizabeth Lowe. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Blanford, Mr. Cardoso, and Mr. Rockland for getting through all of our names. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Everyone, please stand and join Cedar Natalie Baysmore as she leads us in the singing of her alma mater.
Class of 2022, as a symbol of completing this phase of our lives, please move the tassel from the right side of your caps to the left. And let me ask you one last time. Who's hot?